Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to our today's tutorial. If you are new here, karibu sana and kindly consider subscribing. In our today's video, we are going to learn how to crochet these beautiful 3D flowers. So let's get into the video. Uh, what we need for the project is yarn. We need a pair of scissors and a crochet hook. This is size 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. And to start, make a slip knot. So you start by making a slip knot. Insert your hook in the loop and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Go through the first chain and make a slip stitch. So we've just created a magic ring, chain four, and make a double crochet in this space. Chain one, make a double crochet in the magic ring. Chain one, a double crochet in the magic ring. Chain one, make a double crochet in the magic ring. So that is all we are going to do to the end of this first round. Chain one, make a double crochet and I'll meet you when I'm done to show you what to do next. Yeah, so these first four chains count as a double crochet and chain one space. So I have a total of eight double crochet. Chain one, go through uh, the third chain and make a slip stitch. So this is what we have at this point. Chain three. Now we are going to work in this post. So the first three chains, which count as our first double crochet, we are going to work uh, six double crochets through the post so insert your hook as shown in the video and make a double crochet next So keep on making double crochet until you have six. And the first three chains will count as our first double crochet. So in total, you will have seven double crochets. So first three chains plus six double crochets will give you seven in total. Okay. So once you have seven double crochet, the next step is making one double crochet uh, in the magic ring. So grab yarn and go through the magic ring and make one double crochet. So 
So on this other side, we are going to work seven double crochets through the post. So insert your hook in the space. One, two, so keep on working, double crochet until you have seven in total. Two more. So here we have a total of fifteen double crochets. So you remember the chain one we did in the first round. We are going to work four double crochet in that space. So one, two, three, and four. Then you repeat the sequence. So you're going to work seven double crochet. So your hook will go through this space and make double crochets. This one, two, until you have seven in total. Once you have seven double crochets, make uh, make one double crochet in the magic ring. And so go through this space here and make a double crochet. And that is all we are going to do to the end of this round. So you have one double crochet in the magic ring, then you turn and work on this other post, make seven double crochets. So your hook is going to pass through this space and make double crochets. One, two, three, until you have seven double crochets. So here I have seven double crochets and in the chain one space, you're going to make four double crochet. So keep on working in that sequence and I will meet you 
at the end to show you what to do next. So uh, I have one post remaining. I'll make one double crochet in the magic ring. And work seven double crochet through this post. This is our last uh, post. So make seven double crochets. And in the chain one space, we're going to make four double crochet. So go through the first stitch and make a slip stitch. So you skip the first three chains and in the first stitch make a slip stitch. Chain one, tighten up and cut your yarn. So it's that simple, very easy to make and very faster. So yeah, this is how it looks from the back. Now I'm going to write these chains and cut them. So hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't, give this video a like, share and leave a comment in the comment section. You can put beads or just leave it at that. Yeah, it's very beautiful. It can be made in different colors. So I'll put the beads and sew them. Yeah, so that's all for today. Until next time. Bye.